So what is going on guys, Rara Box here and welcome to some MotoGP21 and today you join me aboard Valentino Rossi's 2009 Yamaha M1 machine and what a beautiful bike this is, a modern classic. Valentino really in his prime on this bike in this sort of era. So we're going to be going around Catalonia and doing a race. Right now you join me in a bit of practice. I'm going to do some practice before we jump straight into the race. And it would be nice to have a little ding dong battle with Jorge Lorenzo. That would be fun wouldn't it? But we'll see. For now we're just going to stick in some practice laps. Lorenzo is actually on top of this session. And we're going on this opening lap just under a tenth off of that time. For this bike, it looks the treat. Absolutely. Whoa! <laughs> Too much curb. Too much curb and then into turn 10. Too deep. I think we actually went fastest through that sector. Probably not now. I've really offset myself now. You know what? I've got a medium front tire in. A medium rear. And I'm wondering... You know, should we be using a hard front? Because look how much, just how hot it was getting and how much life we've taken out of it. Oh, six tenths quicker with that mistake over Lorenzo. Beautiful lap. Whoa, <laughs> too much curb, too much curb. Valentino Rossi coming in off his bike then. Thumbs up from the doctor. I mean, he had pace here. <laughs> he might have had pace back then. Not like in 2021 at the minute. Having a little bit of teething issues, I think, with the M1. Um, you can see, ah, oh, Vermeulen's just put in a, a very good lap there. One tenth off of us. I mean, we're only in a... Uh, is this warm-up or a practice? I think it might be warm-up, to be honest. We've got Danny Pedrosa behind us. Let's let him through. Go on, Danny. Goes through on the Repsol Honda. You can see Casey Stone has just gone in with a 41.9. Very solid lap time. Simoncelli 41.9 as well. So the other guy is going very quickly. I've forgotten to change my tyres. So <laughs> we are not going to be able to beat any of those tyres with these tyres, I don't think. But let's see. That opening lap I did, we... Well, as you saw, we made a mistake in the third sector. And the first few sectors, they were a bit... Lackluster, going four tenths quicker on this opening lap. Three hundredths off of Simon Jelly's first sector by the looks of things. Got Danny Pedrosa to chase after. So let's give chase to him. Should be able to get him. This is only warm up though. We're going to be doing a race. But I thought it'd be fun just to. Get some practice laps in and bomb it round and why not record it? Let's see what the second sector. One tenth off of Simoncelli. We're being held up a little bit by Danny Pedrosa through this third sector. Remember, we're not on fresh tyres either. Oh. Come on. You can hear that Honda scream. This time we're going to get it all sorted on the brakes into turn 10. Still a tenth off of Simoncelli, who's going very quick on that Honda. Stoner's just crashed. Into 11 then. Let's see, can we go fast this? Can we find some time in the last sector? I'm only running power mode 2. Not going to run power mode 3 just yet. Then Pedrosa bailed into the pits. 41, 42 flat, P3, not quite enough, oh, 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 <laughs> absolutely barreled it, let's see the bike retrieval on these classic bikes, ah, oh, they're coming in at turn one, let's take a look at the times, then we've dropped back down to P5, um, I don't know what's gone on with the lap times here. <laughs> what? Maybe that is P2 still. Maybe these guys haven't set a time. I don't really know. Um, but I do kind of want to go out 
Oh, here we go. Have they updated? No. I do want to go out on the hard front and rear just to, you know, give it a try. Um, for the Ready for the race, really. Want to make sure that, you know, the hard tyre is going to give us performance if I decide to go with it, that hard front Bridgestone. The hard front tyre has given us not enough grip around that turn one. Just didn't quite have the mid-corner grip like the medium does. I mean, it's... It's holding its temperature fine. Just mid corner grip isn't as good. See, I can't pull it down to the apex as easier, as easily as the medium. So I think it will be a medium front, although we're going good on this lap. I've, but I have wiped the engine into power mode 3 just to see. But shame about the leaderboard glitching out for Lorenzo, Dobby and Simoncelli. Would have been good to keep comparing sector times, lap times. But let's see, we're going to improve on this lap anyway. Definitely going to be a hard rear. I think we need a little bit of a softer front, so a medium. Should give us the tyre life. And it should give us performance. See now as we're going to cross the line. 41.6. That's better. Head of stone it. Look at this. Ooh, sliding it on in there into turn one. Let's go racing then. Catalonia. So, like I was doing in warm up, medium front, hard rear tyre. That's going to be our combo. Lorenzo's there in P2. He's the man we want to see if we can get into a bit of a battle with. But he's looking very, very confident and focused. I'm going to take a little bit of fuel out of the bike. That should get us through, to be honest. And Marco Simoncelli, P8. So this is how it lines up. Stoner, Lorenzo, Colin Edwards, Pedrosa, Dovi, and I didn't quite... Oh, we're in P6. Formula in 7, Simoncelli 8th. So Vale, let's see what we can do. Coming from near the back, but I mean, there's only eight riders in the race, but right in the middle, second row of the grid. See what our launch is like. Suspect Lorenzo's going to get up there, but look at that classic Yamaha livery from Colin Edwards. Looks very, very nice. Looks very nice indeed. And here we go, off of the line. Very good launch. Very, very, very good launch. We're going to end up being on the outside here. Drop into turn number one. Very good launch from Valentino there. And it's Colin Edwards right behind us. Oh, I've drifted out wide. Let's allow both of our Yamaha compatriots back through. Oh, Frantip. Oh, just about pull it back down. It's going to allow Lorenzo, Edwards through, and here come the Yamahas, Pedrosa and Dovi coming through. Oh, listen to those Yamahas scream. Getting in. Getting right stuck in as Stoner on the Ducati. The only Ducati. He's uh, escaping a little bit. Oh, that curb. Cost you so much time, the curbs. Trying it around the outside of Dovi. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good racetrack, Catalonia. Very nice racetrack. We're going to go Palmo 3. And we'll use that around these last few corners and then onto the main straight closing up through turn 13 there blast for the line then took in the slipstream of Davizioso very nice turn it back down to power mode 2 struggling at the top end to get past the Honda but on the brakes we're able to get by on Edwards for now into turn 1 Ooh, he comes back around the outside I really do like his suit. It's got that American style livery to it. Looking very nice indeed. And I'm pushing. Trying to get underneath. 
of Colin Edwards there. Just going to have the inside line dropping down the hill. This tricky, tricky off camber corner, but we cut around the outside in front of him there. Lovely stuff. Into P3 then. Meanwhile, Lorenzo's been chipping away at the gap at the front to Stoner. Stoner going very, very good right now. Let's see if we can get Lorenzo. Obviously on a very similar year, Yamaha. 2010, I think his is. Ours is 2009. It's weird, isn't it? You say 2010. Well, some people say 2010, but I say 2010, but say 2009 and 2010, not 2009 and 2010. Anyway, this is a MotoGP race, not a grammar lesson, but let's go. Round 12. Into 13. Let's go Palmo 3 again. Glad I went for the medium front, although a hard front would have given us pretty good longevity and we're closing up at the top end. Trying to outbreak ourselves. Lorenzo's back through. Valle very, very good on the break. Just couldn't bring it down and Lorenzo made his way back through. I want to know what the gap is to Stoner. And if it's even achievable to close him down. Might not be achievable, you see. Two fear Yamahas. Giving chase. We've got fast lap of the race, 41-7. Lost a few tenths on this lap. I just don't know where we're going to be able to get Lorenzo. Strong into turn one, but didn't quite work for us. If we get closer. Good run out of there. Pretty cautious on the brakes there. Spinning up the rear as we're coming around there. Colin Edwards, he's not gone away. In fact, you saw his nose come through there. Power mode 3 on that sticky, sticky curb. That's really set me off. Oh, it's right there. Forty-two four. Lost a lot of time on that lap. Whoa! Use the penalty loop. Has run off. Colin Edwards back through. Come on. Get back. Yeah, he's coming back up our inside. Let's see if we can do this move again. The tyre doesn't quite wear on the left side as quickly as the right, so we can really lean on that left side through there and we execute a lovely, lovely move. Again, left-hander. We've got grip through the left-handers. We need to remember that and make the most of that. Use the left-hand side of the tyre if we can, but the right-hand side now isn't going to be as good. We can't just chuck it in on the brakes and expect the tyre to grip up. Not like we could earlier on in the race, but this is a left-hander. Oh, push Lorenzo. Close right up through there. Oh, it's the exit of that corner at turn 10. Lorenzo's not been able to make any inroads into Stoner's lead by the looks of things. Good little run through turn 12, uh, 13, sorry. Slipstream, power mode 3. Oh, power on up. Oh, shoot it on the brakes. Oh, can't find the grip as we tip it in. But we're through on Lorenzo. For now, at least. 
and the gap is 1.7 seconds. Oh, huge stoppy. That'll cost us some time. But again, coming down the hill. Oh no, that's not gone right at all. That didn't go to plan. Gap's about two seconds. Four tenths back to Jorge. Looks like we can pull away from Lorenzo. Question is, can we close down race leader Stoner? I don't know. Don't think we can. <laughs> oh, I'm pushing too hard now. Final lap time then. We're a tenth off of our personal best. 41.8. Going a lot steadier now. Lorenzo's about a second back. I wonder. I feel like I've got pace. I'm just making mistakes. Which is easy to do with a warm front tyre right now. Four tenths up through the first sector. We're 1.2 back from Stoner. Oh. Clipped the curb as we entered the braking zone and it just skipped us on. This time getting it all squared off through turn five. Can we pull off some Valentino magic here and close down Stoner? Well, let's see if we can. Gaps at a second. Less than a second back from Stoner now. Palmo 3. We can't pull off. <laughs> no, there's no way we can pull off a classic Rossi move from 13. But 7 tenths under our personal best. We close down a 2 second gap in like less than a lap to Stoner. One more lap, we'd have got him, I think. A little bit of Rossi magic there, but uh, it's only good enough for P2, but a fun race nonetheless. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. So that has been it for today's video of Valentino Rossi here at a classic Catalan Grand Prix. Thoroughly enjoyed racing our 2009 M1 round Catalonia. Obviously getting into a bit of a battle with a few riders, Colin Edwards on the Yamaha and also Lorenzo Rossi's former teammate on the 2010 machine a very good bike indeed as well thoroughly enjoyable racing these classic bikes I love it I might check out uh, some of the other ones so let me know if you want me to do more races like this I might do full Grand Prix format sort of thing we'll get in we'll do some practice we'll then do quali and then we'll then go racing so uh, let me know if you want to see that and if you do what riders you want to see what tracks that sort of thing do let me know um so yeah because this game doesn't have a proper historic mode like motor gp20 did so that's kind of weird um that they removed that and um, you thought they could have just left that in there but uh, i i do want to make most of make the most of some of this content as you can see rossi closing in on lorenzo this is the middle part of the race where we were trying to close down lorenzo then on the next lap we sort of made a few mistakes you see uh, colin edwards the number five there closing in on us he's right behind us there as we we made a bit of a mistake through there didn't realize the hondas were that close as well i think that's davizioso there with us the number four but uh, yeah if you did enjoy this video Remember to smash that like button, share it around with your friends, and don't forget to get subscribed for plenty more MotoGP content. Um, daily career mode, pretty much, if unless I miss one or two days. Um, but that's the aim, daily career mode on the channel. But as always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you guys in the next one.